by hand From mighty mountains to the raging sea To every leaf on every single tree It's in the holy book Just open up and take a look Long ago, word spread throughout the land of a wonderful teacher in Jerusalem. It was Jesus, the Son of God. He helped people who were sick. and encourage those who were lonely. He answered their questions and told them about God. Jesus traveled from place to place, and wherever he went, people wanted to hear what he had to say. <laughs> you know, the angels of children are always very close to God in heaven. my baby pray for my child no go away one of Jesus's disciples was upset can't you see Jesus is too busy to waste his time on children wait my father's kingdom is made up of people who trust and love like children do to God every child is a special treasure as my disciple you should know I could never turn children away I'm sorry, Jesus. Here. Please, come back. I was wrong. Jesus will bless your children. Jesus was never too busy for anyone, young or old, sick or well. <laughs> Teacher! If you really know all the answers, tell me. How can I get into heaven? You've studied God's law. What do you think? Well, it says to love God with all my heart and mind and strength. And I should love my neighbors and other people as much as I love myself. That's right. But wait, I understand everything but that last part. Who are my neighbors? And how do I love others? So, what's your answer, Jesus? There's the story of a young man. 
he left Jerusalem on a trip to Jericho. The young man checked his money carefully, as his father had always told him to. And then began his journey. Morning. Good morning. Along the way, the man greeted other travelers, including a priest from the temple. Have a safe journey. And you also. As his journey continued, he came upon another traveler. A Levite. Levites help the priests in the temple. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Good journey to you. And to you. As time passed, the traveler saw fewer and fewer people on the road. <laughs> so I'm not alone. What a beautiful bird. I remember seeing such a bird once. Oh, Papa! Can we look at the birds? <laughs> we always do, son. Oh, Papa, don't you just love the birds? Love the birds! Love the birds! Come on, your mother sent us to buy almonds for our dinner. They live down the street from us, don't they? Yes, they're our neighbors. They're good people. Papa, look! Who's that man? Him? He's not from Jerusalem. He's from Samaria. Oh, that's a Samaritan? Stay here, son. The Samaritans are not like our neighbors. They are our enemies and can't be trusted. The boy was taught to fear anyone from a different place. Always remember, beware of the Samaritans. Beware of the Samaritans. The traveler was completely alone on the road when a stranger approached. He was frightened because his father had always warned him to be afraid of people from other places. But the foreigner did not bother him. <coughs> Greetings, little fellow. Here's a treat for you. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't see you. Good day, stranger. How are you? Hello. Are you from Jerusalem? Oh, that's a relief. It's good to see neighbors so far from home. Ow! You have a firm grip, friend. You haven't felt anything yet. <gasps> Grab him! W w what are you doing? Please stop! No, stop, please! 
Why are you doing this? We're neighbors! So give us all your money, neighbor. <laughs> Let's get out of here. The thieves took the traveler's money and jewelry, and they almost took his life. No one could hear his cries for help, so he tried to crawl back to the road. Oh, oh. I know you'd help me if you could, little friend. The poor traveler lay in the ditch for hours. Fortunate. It's the priest. He'll help me. But I'm so, so tired. The traveler needed help, but he was too weak to call out. this oh my goodness someone should help this poor man the priest passed the traveler on the opposite side of the road Where did he go? priest before him, the Levite passed on the other side of the road. What will I do? What will I do? Isn't there anyone who will help me? By late afternoon, the poor traveler had grown very weak. Hello, little friend. I'm afraid I, I won't make it through the night. Tell me, God, 
Where are my neighbors now that I need them? At sunset, another traveler came down the road. Someone's coming. comes a Samaritan. Maybe he hasn't seen me. Who is it? This is medicine for your cuts and scrapes. Now, this should help. I don't understand. I'm going to take you to a safe place tonight. But why? You're a Samaritan. Ah, then you have met my people before. Travelers passing by couldn't believe their eyes. A Samaritan was helping an Israelite. Don't talk. Save your strength for our journey ahead. I hope this doesn't hurt too much. The Samaritan led his donkey to a small inn. Was there an accident? Is he all right? No, we must get him inside. Of course. That man, he's alive. Yes, I, s I saw him too. But who is that with him? Why, it's a Samaritan! But a Samaritan wouldn't help an Israelite. Would he? Just rest now. All night, the Samaritan cared for the injured man. He's looking much better. I must travel on business today. Take this money and pay for anything he needs until I get back. When I return, I'll pay you for any other expenses.
can't thank you enough. I'll see you in a few days. I asked God where my neighbors were when I needed them. He has given me the answer. And the Samaritan did as he promised. A few days later, he took the traveler back to Jerusalem. Who is my neighbor? You are my neighbor. I can clearly see that a neighbor is a friend reaching out to me. Who is my neighbor? You are my neighbor, now we both agree That a neighbor is a friend Helping friends in need Look for a neighbor He will be the one Always standing by your side When the day is done Look for a neighbor Instead of your eyes, the neighbor you find will be a big surprise. Look for a neighbor, he will be the one. Hand in hand we go, always standing by your side when the day is done. Look for a neighbor, he will be the one, always standing by your side. So tell me, which man was the neighbor to the traveler? The priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? Well, that's easy. The one who cared for him. As we should all do, showing kindness to everyone. So don't just love the people in your family or your friends. Love everybody, especially those in need. Live your life like the Good Samaritan. I will, Jesus. Let me help you, young neighbor. The story Jesus told that day spread throughout the world. And now, a person who helps someone in need is called a Good Samaritan. God separated the water from the dry land. God made all kinds of things to put on the land. There were rocks and mountains, valleys, deserts,